Welcome to the 30 lecture 12 weeks NPTEL course on multi-core computer architecture. This course is designed in such a way that it can be taken by the undergraduate students at the second year of a BTEC program and we are starting from the very fundamental such that at the end of this 30 lecture the students will be able to appreciate the advancements in latest multi-core processors. Through this introductory video, I would like to give a brief overview about the course, its contents and how the course would be delivered. This will help you to understand whether this course is basically liking to your nature and what are the prerequisites required in order to learn this course. We know that applications and handheld devices are part and parcel of our day to day life. Probably we start our day with these applications and then these applications are being powered on handheld devices which are run by microprocessors. As mentioned we have a couple of handheld devices that are going to run these applications. Let me now introduce you to a couple of few applications that are of utmost relevance in the modern day context such that we require powerful microprocessors in order to run these applications. First let me draw your attention to one of the most emerging field called intelligent transportation systems where each vehicle is going to establish its communication with nearby roadside unit with satellites and with other vehicles and with a lot of electromechanical devices and computing hardware and software that is embedded inside your vehicles which are going to take intelligent decisions such that autonomous cars can be realized. The another important area which has huge prominence in the Indian context is about smart farming. So farming is now becoming more sophisticated with agricultural robots or agrobots and sensor based mechanism are being incorporated and the farmers have been helped with the technology wherein lot of data manipulation happens and inputs are given to the farmers in order to increase the yield of the crops and productivity of the farming. Here also we can say that lot of data is being processed in real time and accordingly decisions are being made with embedded intelligence that are incorporated into computing system assisted farming environment. Other important area is about smart healthcare. From this slide we can see that the medical practitioner sitting at one place will be able to examine the patient which may be located in a distant continent or a distant country with the help of high end communication and computing systems. The analysis and the real time updates can be captured with high end cameras and can be propagated to the doctors and the doctors can take intelligent decisions based upon their expertise. Similarly, we can have smart gadgets that also would be recording many of the vital body parameters and accordingly inputs can be given to human beings for having a healthy life. Smart homes, we are already aware that lot many sophistications can be done incorporated in the places we live and the locality we move around. Lot of sensors and sensor based data are being analyzed and accordingly a back end computing system can process them and can automate lot of activities which otherwise requires human intervention. Artificial intelligence enabled monitoring devices. With the prominence of artificial intelligence and embedded intelligence that are incorporated in heavy and computing systems, surveillance, personal identification, biometric based access mechanisms and security based protection all are getting prominence where in terrains where manning is very difficult, AI enabled drones and other sophisticated systems can have significance in road in making our life more comfortable. Weather forecasting is yet another prominent area where we have seen that with sophisticated prediction mechanism which churn around huge amount of data, we are able to predict lot of climatic changes and forecasting required in order to evacuate and safely handle natural calamities. How is it all done? 
in all the applications that we discussed it's all consists of some form of an electronic data capture which involves storing of your data at a place and then we write programs which will be running on some hardware which will analyze these stored data and then make meaningful conclusions now the rest of the course what we are going to see is about for applications like this in what way the underlying computer architecture can help for these applications to run with higher throughput and meet quality of service for the end user upon which these applications are being triggered coming to the objective of this course the first and foremost objective of the course is to learn and appreciate computer architecture with an emphasis to system design performance and analysis we also will try to understand and analyze events happening at the hardware level we would like to elevate the thinking process to the level of performance improvement techniques for the recent multi core architectures and the course will conclude by enabling some of you to think of future directions in computer architecture research our country want more people to take up architectural research so this course will also help those people who are interested in taking up research in this domain let me briefly touch upon the syllabus that we are going to cover the entire contents of the course is divided into three sections part a we will focus on the processor design trends approximately 5 weeks we will review the basic computer organization consisting of instruction set architecture and addressing modes in this way it will help students who are at the second year level of an undergraduate program without much of a prerequisite to take this course then we talk about instruction pipeline and hazards about branch prediction techniques and then slightly advanced concepts like static and dynamic scheduling speculative execution advanced pipelining concepts which involve super pipelining hyper threading and multi threading we talk about super scalar processors and gpu architecture in brief part b consists of memory subsystem which will take roughly 4 weeks of time where we introduced about cache memory organization from the basics talking about mapping block replacement techniques and various write strategies we will now learn about different cache optimization techniques and for the emerging new generation multi processing system which involves multi core processors handling the memory coherency data coherency is at another challenge so we will learn about cache coherence protocol we will have some learning on snoop based protocols and later on directory based protocols after that we will move into the primary memory system introduction to dram organization functions of memory controllers and about address mapping having covered the basics of the processor side and the memory side we will now introduce to the third portion that is about multi core system roughly 3 weeks to tiled chip multi core processors we will now learn about network on chip routing and flow control techniques the micro architecture of network on chip routers and then considering we have lot of handheld devices that is been coming can we go for energy efficient noc design and ultimately putting all together how can network on chip and caches help in having a quality of service experience in tiled chip multi core processors later we will learn about emerging trends in network on chips and then the course conclude with domain specific accelerators which are acting as the backbone for enhancing computer hardware to meet latest artificial intelligence applications we will have a case study on the vega microprocessor which is one of the indigenous microprocessor developed in our country now coming into the broader picture of this course where does this course stands this course will be focusing more on the hardware software interface consisting of the instruction set architecture and the micro architecture so in the broader perspective those who learn computer systems we have to understand it can be anywhere from the problem from the algorithm to the programming language to the hardware and in the device level this course will fit into somewhere in the middle where the micro architecture is been given the emphasis we already know that there are a lot of state of art architectures like the telera g tilex the intel xeon phi the amd ryzen threadripper microprocessors and the latest uh, tesla based system that is been used for autonomous vehicles these are all already there in the market now we want 
our emerging graduates to be equipped with the necessary skill by which they are able to understand and appreciate the internals of these latest microprocessors so that we could bridge the gap between the graduate skill set and the requirement of the industry. This is the broader block diagram of a 16 tile many core processor. We will learn about the processing elements that are being mapped which consists of your processors and your first and second level caches. This course will have a detailed discussion on the instruction pipeline consisting of the fetch, decode, issue, scheduling, execution and data access which is typically covered in the part A of the course. The part B of the course will cover upon the cache memory architectures, the L1 and L2 cache and the part C of the course would be covering about the interconnect that is used as the communication framework which carry data from one processing element to another. So, we will learn about the network on chip routers which consists of buffers, crossbar and the control logic. Coming to the course delivery, as mentioned this course is of 30 hour duration spanning across 12 weeks. So, every week there will be roughly 150 minutes of video that will be about 2 to 2 and a half hours of video spanning across 3 to 4 lectures. We will have a tutorial discussion every week wherein more numerical based questions would be discussed how to approach such kind of numerical problems and how to solve with them. And then every week there will be an assignment which will cover up the topics that are already there in that week. Basically, these assignments would be of MCQ type or MSQ type where you have to choose the correct answer or answers from the given choice or a fill in the blanks type like a numerical answer type. The course will be roughly spanning across three months. So, we have three live sessions where I would be interacting with you, clarifying your queries. So, these live sessions are basically meant for question and answer type. We will discuss about the queries that you all have and I will share some of the tips also how to approach this course. Our learning platform has a discussion forum wherein the moment you go through these videos, if at all you have any query, you can post it over there and we will be happy to address your queries. For those students who are interested, who will contact us, we will give you an optional project which is not part of the general course but some of you if you are interested, we will be happy to give you some training on latest architectural simulators so that you get some hands on exposure as well. At the end of the three months, you have a proctored exam that is for three hour duration and 70 percent of the questions would be basically on recall type, you understand the concept and then we will be checking your understanding level. The remaining 30 percent is of slightly advanced level, we have to comprehend from the given data and probably you may have to answer some numerical questions, some level of design level questions. So, all of them would be either MCQ type, MSQ type or NAT type, something similar to the assignments. Assignments carry 25 percentage of weightage and the final exam carries 75 percentage of weightage. At the end, those who are really doing well, we will be happy to take some of them, the top performers as interns in various IITs. We will be happy to give them letter of recommendations if you plan to pursue your studies abroad in some universities or if you are looking for any job in some industries where computer architecture background is very much required, we would be happy to give the letter of recommendations to top performers. These are the reference books that you could uh, refer for this course, five popular reference books. Now, coming to who should take this course, having said this background about what we cover in this course and who should take it, from my opinion, this course is for those who are willing to take up the risk, rather enjoy the beauty in understanding how processor, memory and communication technologies of a high-end computer operate by exploring deeper into its architecture. We would be providing you necessary materials to understand that. From my side, I would try my best in order to explain the concepts in the most simplest way such that even an undergraduate student will be able to take this course 
and understand computer architecture in a deeper way. It is not about destination, the final grade in the course, but the unique experience in the journey which consists of discussions of the lecture videos, the tutorial sessions, the live sessions and the deeper insights that you all gain while solving the assignment that makes the course more important. So please enjoy the ride. From my side, I promise that this course would be very interesting. Still, if you have any queries, feel free to write it to me, to my email id johnjoes at the rate iitg.ac.in. I would like to see large number of students taking this course and getting benefited out of this. Thank you. Thank you.